Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Robert from Cash's Treasures, and I got another video for you today. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we have some cards, but mostly I want to review a product and uh, tell you about this product. Uh, I met these gentlemen at the Philly Non-Sports Card Show, the one that just happened, and uh, at the dinner... Um, after I did my wonderful speech about YouTube and all that kind of good stuff, uh, they came up to me and said, Hey, um, would you mind uh, showing some of our products? And uh, I've saw them in the past shows and different stuff like that. And always thought that they were uh, great products and something that I thought about adding to my collection uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I said, sure. You know, I'll showcase some of your products, and uh, in return, um, they gave me a nice little discount link for you guys, um, so you guys can uh, purchase these products uh, with a discount. Um, I believe it's 10% off, um, and also you're helping me in the back end, uh, because when you guys purchase, <coughs> excuse me, um, then I'll get a kickback from that. Uh, to allow me to uh, expand my displays for my collection as well. But uh, the name of the company is Titan Display Cases. And the I met the two gentlemen uh, that basically run the show. And they are really nice guys. And uh, it's a uh, locally sourced made product. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Out of Pennsylvania. Uh, so you can't go wrong there. And uh, they do acrylic display cases um, for PSA slabs, GSA slabs, SGC slabs, uh, all of that kind of stuff for your collector's boxes, different style boxes, uh, not only for non-sports cards, but for sports cards as well. And all of their products are completely UV protected. So, which means that you don't have to worry about in the sun. I still wouldn't put them in direct sunlight because the sun still could fade a little bit. But uh, they do have UV protection on it. And the acrylic has a better clarity than glass. Uh, so, the acrylic is super crystal clear on the acrylics here. And they have strong magnet lids. As uh, I'll show you, um, everything has a magnetized lid on it. So no fumbling with a screwdriver and screws like the screw down uh, displays uh, that you find. Uh, so that's a giant positive, um, you know, in that, that, that department because you don't have to fumble all around with a screwdriver and then risk breaking and cracking, uh, you know, the display with tightening it down too much. And they also have magnets on the bottom of them. So this way, if you get um, a few of the same ones, you can stack them on top of each other without them sliding side to side, doing any damage, scratching, or anything else like that. <coughs> so that's a super positive uh, with these displays as well, too. So here's the flyer that I was given when uh, I first spoke to uh, the gentleman. And you'll see on the front of it is basically PSA slab protections, uh, PSA silicone slab protections, uh, PSA colored slab protections. You can get some colors around the outside of it. Uh, BGS, SGC, um, quite a few different things that you can get. Uh, silicone bumpers just to go around the PSA slabs uh, just to protect those corners. And we got some uh, non-sport collectors coming soon. So those longer boxes, as we know, uh, Garbage Pail Kids like to do those collector's boxes a little bit longer. Uh, these will work with Garbage Pail Kids, uh, Loracana, and some of the Marvel boxes uh, as well. So they have some vintage 60s wax boxes coming soon. Uh, vintage 70s uh, wax, those collector sets, they have those as well. 80s wax, we all know and love those 80s wax as well too. So um, then you see up here trade sets. Trade sets and sports cards are little smaller style boxes. Um, chrome foil, blaster boxes. Blaster boxes are always a positive to, you know, to get. Um, it might be a little bit tricky with Garbage Pail Kids and some of the blaster boxes because uh, some of the GPK stuff 
they like to do custom uh, design boxes and size boxes. Uh, so we'll have to check those out in the future and see how uh, these blaster boxes fit with some of the other styles. Uh, Sidekick, um, now they're doing exclusive for Sidekick, so they're making all of the Sidekick uh, boxes. They're the only company that makes these style acrylic cases for Sidekick. Uh, Maculate um, boxes for sports cards. And you got your 15 wax pack wall display frame. I believe um, Big Adam, Adam Edwards, picked this up, uh, you know, at the show. Um, great stuff to put all your packs in there. Um, holds from 1 to 15 inside of there. Um, they are doing some signature series with some artist sketches. Uh, so you can actually have the artist signature at the bottom of it. Uh, they have a few right now, but I'm sure they're going to be adding more into the future. And then you got booster and sapphire boxes, uh, you know, for TCG non-sports foil boosters, sapphire style boxes. Um, works really great for smaller uh, boxes of Garbage Pail Kids as well. Um, I'll show you that also. So let's get into the cases and uh, let's start looking at some of the stuff that we have here. So first off, we'll start off with... Um, a SGC style uh, slab protection. So if we're looking at this one down here, the SGC slab protect, uh, protection, size for standard size SGC slab cards. So that's if you already have an SGC, SGC slabbed card and you want to add a ton of extra protection to it. This thing is beautiful. This thing is, 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 is feel the weight of it. I mean, you can't feel it through the video, but it has a ton of weight to it. This is a really awesome style protection. It, it looks great up on a shelf. I mean, it just looks like you took the time to put into protecting this card. Um, and this is a 1936 G Men that I have inside of here for SGC. And everything is toolless. This, you know, the construction of this is super awesome. Fits in there snug. I actually have this one also inside of a uh, graded card team bag as well. So that adds a little bit of stability from left and right shaking. You'll see um, in a later um, case that I didn't, I took it off just so you can see the difference. And if you choose to keep it in a bag, it benefits you in the long run. And for this, to get it in and out, magnets on the top. Look at that. Slides right in, slides right out. Magnets are right in here. So you'll see the magnets inside of here. You just slide that back in. And super, super tight. Nothing's coming out of there. And the weight of it feels really good construction. So if you're looking at just the thickness of it, the front and back, you'll see the card inside of there. And then the thickness of the acrylic, super thick acrylic. And remember, UV protected, better clarity than glass, an awesome SGC slabbed protection uh, for all of those vintage non-sports cards um, that... SGC loves a lot of the non-sports cards that are vintage <coughs> over PSA. That one's super awesome. Now, let's show a silicone bumper. So silicone bumper here. It's these beautiful things up here. They do it in multiple colors. So you have the ability to pick and match you want to match a team color, you want to match a Garbage Pail Kid um, color, um, a parallel border or anything else like that. Uh, they probably have the color that you need for that stuff. So let's take a look here. And I have a bunch of different colors. So we got blue, we got yellow, <clears throat> we got purple, we got orange, we got green. And... <coughs> I'll show you in place. <coughs> we have the red. Now, this is super awesome. Super easy. If you want something, you know, that isn't as costly, 
you know, and you still want to protect your PSAs, protect the corners and everything else like that, you can get one of these silicone bumpers. And these silicone bumpers are super easy to use. Uh, so basically all it is, is it's kind of like putting on a phone case for your phone. So let's take this off of here. Get it started here in the corner. So let's take this off of here. And you'll see that it has a channel right on the inside, which basically sits uh, the, the PSA slab. And so the way that I've done this here, it's a little bit trickier to do as you're looking through the camera. But if you started at the bottom, you see how I have the bottom one in. And then it just basically runs up the top. And you can get the one corner in. And then you can pop the other corner in. And now you have a bumper, you know. Not that you're going to be throwing your PSA slabs around, but this way you have some corner protection on it, and it looks classy. You know, you get a little bit of color on there, looks really decent, and this way you don't have to worry about, um, you know, risking any damage to the corners of the slabs themselves. Now, let's take a look at the... PSA slab protection. Now this is really awesome. Similar style construction to the SGC, but it's for PSA standard cards. And if you have that really great card <clears throat> that you want to make pop, by all means, pick one of these up because it makes it look awesome. I have my dead Ted in a PSA 8.5 in here. Awesome card with the award back, not the checklist back. <clears throat> now this one I have not in a team bag. So it does have a little bit of side to side slip in it, which that'll be easily corrected. Put it in a team bag. You don't have to worry about that, which I'm going to do after the video, but I took it out and took it off. So this way you can see the difference in you know uh no slippage at all with a team bag and a very little slippage in there but you just don't want it bumping around in there so same thing with the top pop off the top put your card inside of there super clear love the you know clarity on this and once again i'll say it again uv protection on here so this way you're not worried about anything like that messing with your card this bar goes right back over top snaps in place and then you're all set the weight of this is unbelievable i just love you know the weight of this it just makes it feel chunky you know just it, it gives it that much stability to it and just looks beautiful overall so that's your psa and that's your sgc and then we saw the bumper styles here for just PSA slabs. If you want to protect your bumper, if you want to protect your PSA slab corners, the bumpers are awesome, you know, to do with that as well. And <clears throat> now let's go on to some of the bigger um, display cases. Now this is going to be your display case for, say, a booster box, uh, Pokemon, or anything along those lines. Um, awesome style display. And once again, super clarity, super thickness. If you look at the thickness of this acrylic in here, you know, this is definitely not bouncing around and, you know, ruining your boxes once it's inside of here. And you'll see here and here, you'll see those there and on the top and bottom so take your box has your magnets on it which are heavy duty magnets so it takes a good amount of force to come off so this way you're not accidentally knocking it off or anything else like that your box is inside there you slid that inside and then you take this back you hear it clap right there that's how you know that it's some strong magnets on there. And then you have the magnets here. So if you wanted to stack another one on top of it, you could. 
would magnetize to it. Or if you wanted to stack this on top of another one, you could as well. You could stack this down on top of it. So this way you could have it at a, a taller stack and not have to worry about them falling over because they're magnetized and held tight together. That same UV protection on that guy with that heavy duty magnets able to be stackable. Super clarity on those boxes as well. And here comes the bigger one. Here is your standard OS box style. Works with other style of Garbage Pail Kid cards as well. Um, I happen to have a uh, an OS 7 series inside of here, but awesome. I have this OS 7 series inside of a plastic bag also that I put together. So this way, uh, because I had it just sitting on my shelf and I hate dust and everything else like that. So I had put it inside of a, um, a plastic bag so that way the box itself wouldn't get all dusty and everything. And so that fit inside of this display case with no problems or anything else like that with the display. So the same as with the other one, you just take a look at here and you have your backing that comes off of this one or the front depends on what you're looking at. But the reason I say the backing is because this side has Titan display on it <clears throat> and you're probably looking to take the back off versus the front. So the same as the other one, you can just slide that. This will come off, super clarity, look at that. I can almost put this in front of the camera right here and apart from a couple glares here and there, you wouldn't even know that there was something in front of the, clar the camera. The clarity is so great on that. And this as well has those styles of magnets on there. Put your box in there. Put it back in there. Hear that clamping for that magnet. That sound is music to my ears because it lets you know that it's really, um, you know, locked tight inside of this box. And the same, laying it down, stacking it up putting it on its side, putting it up like this. You're not going to worry about it coming open or anything like that. So super sturdy construction on these. Even in a larger box size, you're not getting any less stability to it. So it doesn't feel flimsier because you're extending the, uh, the length of the acrylic because that thickness in that acrylic is just so awesome. It just protects you know, great. So look at that thickness in that acrylic there. I mean, awesome thickness in that acrylic. And these are super uh, great uh, overall displays. And they don't break the bank on you. So, and plus, if you lose, if you use my link, or once you go to their website, you type in Cash's Treasures, all capital, you'll also get the uh, the ten percent off as well, and they do free shipping over one hundred twenty five dollars. Uh, so that's awesome to uh, cash in on that as well. Uh, picking up three or four cases, uh, you know, you definitely get into that free shipping uh, margins. So, and we all know we have those boxes that we definitely like to. Um, to, to put some uh, some better protection on, and especially some of those older vintage boxes <coughs> that are a little bit under the weather. You know, they've been sitting around for a while and uh, maybe falling apart a little bit. So uh, we definitely want to add a little bit of protection to that. So, and what I'm going to do, uh, so because these gentlemen were so generous and allowed me to uh, review some of these boxes, and get some stuff out to you that what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give away this display case. Unfortunately, you don't get the flashbacks box that's inside of it. That has to go back into my collection. But you will get this Titans display box right here free of charge. 
Unfortunately, it's only open to the continental United States uh, because it is a little heavier to ship. It will come packaged in its original box. Um, super. Here's the original box that it came in. Uh, has everything that you need inside of there. Uh, the bumpers are inside of there as well. And what I've also seen is if you have a box that you would like to put inside of here that might be a tad smaller than the inside of the box, um, what I've saw some people do is actually take these little corners that, that comes with and put those on the box itself. So put those on the box that you're putting inside of here and then slide it inside because this way, if it's slightly smaller than the inside of the dis display case, then now you can give it a little bit of stability on there. So that'll add a little bit more protection to it as well. Uh, so of course those come with it because you're getting everything that goes in that box. So, and in order to win this, all you have to do is of course be a subscriber of mine and leave a comment down in the comments. Just hashtag Titan Displays. So you have to be a subscriber, leave hashtag Titan Displays. You don't need to put the dot com on it in the, uh, in the description, well, in the comments. Just Titan Displays down there at the bottom. And now you can see the reflection of me in the background there. So be subscribed, hashtag Titan Display on the bottom of that. I think I said displays before, but take the S off. So hashtag Titan Display. I'll put it on the, the, uh, the screen with the video as well too. So you'll get a chance to see what that is. But, <clears throat> and that'll be yours for free to put whatever you want inside of it to display your prize possessions but you have to be subscribed and hashtag titan display in the bottom of the comments in there and so i'll let that run for about a week or so and then we'll pick the winner on that and what i'm also going to do is If you don't win the display case, I'm gonna pick for this video, I'm gonna pick two other winners out of the person that's not the grand prize winner of the display case. And I'm gonna give away a PSA bumper. So still all the same rules, have to be subscribed, hashtag Titan display in the bottom. If you don't get picked for that display case, two other lucky winners are gonna get one of these PSA slabbed silicone bumpers. So, and then we'll give these away as well. So, if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe to get on that 1,500 subscribers giveaway. We got a lot of love recently, and I just want to thank everybody for, you know, the tremendous love that we, we got recently, you know, trying to mix this channel up a little bit, trying to get everybody involved in it, and just a little bit of everything to, to, to make everybody included in this. And one of the things I said at the Philly Non-Sports Card Show dinner is one of the reasons why I do this channel is I want to um, <clears throat> archive the hobby and I also want to get younger people involved. You know, younger people that are just coming into the hobby that might not have had all this great video content when I was coming up getting into the hobby and now have the ability to go back and see all of this stuff. And, and, and even people that may have been into the hobby for a long time already, you know, have maybe are seeing things that they never knew existed, you know, that, hey, I never knew they had cards for that or this or, you know, now that I see these, I, that's something I might want to add to my collection. 
And we all know when we're collectors, we are constantly evolving our collection. We are constantly looking at different things to collect. So we're always, always looking to expand our collections. And so that being said, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Head over to TitanDisplay.com. Use my name, Cash's Treasures, all capitals. I'll also have a link in the description for you to go over there. You'll get 10% off. And also, I'll get a little kickback for everybody buying so I can expand my collection as well with some nice looking displays. So, with that being said as well, subscribe, comment, hit that like button, button, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I have more videos, and always remember, have fun.